Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add a mobile menu to a WordPress website using the Responsive Menu plugin. So Responsive Menu is a plugin that allows you to create beautiful menus on desktop, mobile and tablet devices without having to write a single line of code. So check it out at responsive.menu. And if you want to launch a disposable WordPress environment like the one we are using today, check out instawp.io. And this service allows you to launch a WordPress installation in under one minute. So check them out, instawp.io. So the first thing we want to do is download our plugin. So go over to plugins, click add new. And we want to type responsive menu in the search box. So is the first result, click install now. Once it's done, just click activate. All right, so if we take a look at the bottom, we see that we have installed our responsive menu plugin. So we just need to go over to responsive menu on this left hand side and click create new menu. So we see that we have our themes. We have our default theme as well as some other themes that we can add. If we go over to, um, to Marketplace, we see that we can also purchase additional themes. And if we click the Save Templates tab, this is where our templates will be. But we have no templates. We can also import templates. So let's just go back to our installed theme and make sure that we have our default theme. Then click Next. All right, so right now we just want to give our menu a name. Let's call this sample menu. And if we take a look at the bottom, we see that we have our link WordPress menu section. So this is our main menu that we are going to be using. Um, and at the bottom, it says hide theme menu. So what this does is it hides our original theme menu. So we just need to find our CSS selector for our original menu and the plugin will hide it for you. But we will configure this later. So next we have device visibility and this determines where our menu will show up. So mobile, tablet or desktop. So you see here both mobile and tablet are selected. And as this is a pro feature, we cannot make changes to this section. So next we have display conditions and this determines on which pages our menu will be shown. But let's just click create menu since we don't need to configure this. All right. So this is our mobile view. And we see here that we have our menu over here on the right hand side. We have our sample page from our main menu. And if we look over on the left hand side, this is where we can configure the look and feel of our menu. Now you see that we have our original menu over here. So what we want to do is hide this. So this is the part that we skipped for later. Let's go over to settings, click settings, then click advanced settings. So we want to change our breakpoint to 600 pixels. So what this means is that um, if a page or screen is 600 pixels or less, then our mobile menu will be shown. So let's go back to our general settings to configure our option that says hide theme menu. So on our mobile display, let's right click on our menu, then click inspect. And here we want to find our CSS selector that corresponds to our mobile menu. So let's just expand this. And let's find our CSS selector. So if we look, it's right here with the hashtag, it's primary mobile menu. So what we want to do is copy and paste this right here. So let's right click on this. Copy, copy element, and let's paste it here. Let me just get our cursor back. All right. So we just want to backspace these um, arrows both at the front and at the back and just leave our hashtag. So let's click update. All right. So we have removed our themes default menu. Okay. So there are a number of things that we can do at this point. Uh, we can actually add some content right here. We can customize the look and feel of our menu. So to do this, we just need to go back, click the back arrow, click back again, click mobile menu, click container. 
And this is where we add content to our container or configure our container options. But if we really want to style our menu in detail, such as changing colors and that kind of stuff, we just need to click back, go to toggle button. And we see that we can configure our button style. We can change our background colors, the active color of the button and a lot more. And we are going to cover styling in more detail in a separate video. So I'm just going to speed this up just so you guys can see what's possible. So this is how you add a mobile menu to a WordPress site using the responsive menu plugin.